is 757. It's the best podcast on the East Coast. No limit, you hear me? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. God damn! That, and it was just so, and it's real. I'ma I'm sit in that bitch like that. You know? I'm gonna be a black ass. You want a fortress? Dread damn! No limit podcast with Shogun D-Lo. So you said it back. Let me let's start this over. Time and time again, we come back with the best of the best in the biz. Y'all already seen first season, so you actually already know what the name is. But for the ones that don't, we are the No Limit Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen of the 757, this is the best podcast on the East Coast. You're now tuned in to the No Limit Show with your guy, Just Ed, d the Shogun, and right beside me, I got... Ace fucking, I mean, you already know yeah, what it is, yeah, Big yeah, Smoke yeah, Ace. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got a returning co-host in the building. She was going away for a little mm-hmm. bit. Caribbean princess Child himself. Let's go. Let's go. Who is it? Who in the building? You already know DJ Young Tay lock in, tap in. 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. Top, top. And like I say, every week, we bring the best of the best of the best in the cities. And tonight, we got a special guest tonight, T. Rowe. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? T. Rowe's in the building. Y'all know what's going on, man. T. Rowe, T. Rowe, T. Rowe, T. Rowe, four, 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 all platforms. We got music, Spotify, Apple Music, you name it. Go get it. Panorama Reflections outside. Go get that. It's, um... Yeah, we outside. That's that's what's going on. We making music. We having fun with it, and we're gonna keep going to some pop. You know, the work don't stop. That's what it is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will say this: I was very surprised. I think me and Ace was very, very surprised. Um, we had to check his page. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm doing my due diligence. I'm trying to get better at it. Yeah, thanks. I had to look at what he had going on, and he hit me with a surprising clue or uh, information. Tonight, this guy right here has only been doing music less than a year. Mm. One, one year for sure. Le- less than a year, and putting out singles left in, and right in, Ju- in July. Mm-hmm. For real, for real. You know that first single you showed me was in July, July twenty second of twenty twenty four. Yep, now me. that I did remember, which is wild. Yes, sir. Like. I got so many questions, so so many questions, so many questions. I know, I know DJ Tay got some questions. I know Ace got some questions. But first and foremost, you know how we always do. Since you're a newcomer, I don't know nothing about you. It's time for an origin story, ladies and gentlemen. I love them. I love the origin stories. For sure. All right. So, so take it back. Where you from, man? All right. So, uh, born Detroit, Michigan. Shut up up north. Um, I was raised in South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina, Taylor's. Specifically, to be exact, shout out Greenville, the whole Greenville. It's a lot of talent down there too, man. And um, I've been in Virginia since 2013, though. So I've been went to the apprentice school, went to the trade school, graduated out there. Outside machinist, shipyard life. You know, you probably heard of a lot, whole lot of people look, shipyard life around here. I'm waiting for you to say hey, something. Look, negative. We, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, nah. But my thing, I'm tired of going to work. I'm tired of going to work. So I'm putting in work on my time. With my time, I'm putting in work on myself, and you know what I'm saying, believing in myself and and taking it all the way, but um, yeah, so raised in South Carolina, been in Virginia since 2013, went to college, the whole nine, graduated, played football, basketball for the printer school, shout out to the printer school. Hey, if you don't know about the printer school, do your research, man, the best trade school in America, man. Definitely go uh check them out, but um. That's the biggest plug-in I've ever heard for that. Nah, for sure, bro. I hope you're getting paid. Maybe, yeah, nah, fact, I'm just, you know, just, well, I'm helping the youth. I'm thinking the youth when I when I say stuff like that because I got I, plenty of nieces and nephews and stuff like that. Oh no, I get it. I got plenty of uncles and whatnot that like went from the printing school shipyard lifestyle and all they got is bad shit to say. Yeah, but see the thing is with it though, and not to take off your origin story, they got a lot more to offer than most apprentice schools. Yeah. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Because Absolutely. they got a whole football, basketball, <laughs> like they, <laughs> like they got teams, bro. What what what? Place they you ignorant. know they ignorant too they got a whole practice field downtown yeah. come on now huh? yeah come on bro, now. hit them up plenty of days too man <laughs> it'd be plenty wild bro and like the program how they do it is you can do you can go to school like i think it's like monday to wednesday or so, every other day and then you go to the actual shipyard to practice your trade and stuff like that correct so you go to school either monday wednesday or you go to school Tuesday, Thursday, but you only go to school two days out the week. The other three days, you're on a on OJT, basically mm-hmm. what they call on the job training, out there on your deck plate, doing whatever you're doing, electrician, welder, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Um, me, I'm a machinist. So I've been doing outside machinists. Um, they put you through school. They, they teach you all the ins and outs, give you everything you know to be successful and set you up to have a career with them. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I would say it's definitely the better alternative. Like when I first was there, I was sitting in the orientation with a guy who graduated from Michigan? He got um, what he had, two two bachelors and a masters Damn. from Michigan University. I'm we in the same orientation. I just graduated high school two weeks ago. What the fuck are like you I, doing here? I had graduated June June six. Um, I started in the shipyard June seventeenth. Damn. Yeah, two weeks that I graduated high school. Right in, I'm talking about from South Carolina all the way to Newport. Down, I stayed downtown Newport News and uh. Uh, but they, but downtowners, I see. I feel like they call it Overtown if you're from here or whatever. Yeah. But um, 
Cause you on the other side. And the towers, yeah. I stayed yeah. in them towers over you there. You in the good, the pink in the, towers. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Over there in the oh, good nah, side. I was once in the navy, go, so <laughs> I know exactly what them towers. And that's why with. we say y'all overtime, cause once you go across that bridge and go to the Jefferson side, yeah. it's a totally different world. Fact, fact. It's actually kind of sweet down there, like the little oh, where yeah. they got the little water. It's nice little view and stuff like that. Well, see, what I want to know is, and what was the major jump from going to that? Because let's not sugarcoat it. Out. Outside and seeing this mate stay they up there mm. with when it comes to the bread. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what made you jump into music? And I know you said you want to work on your own time, but it's gotta be a real big pool to leave that money behind mm-hmm. and to go something else. Cause like I told you earlier, I'm still with my two. Yeah. Like I would love to leave those two and just straight do interviews oh, and stuff like that. But I ain't left. I gotta be at work at I'm getting up four thirty tomorrow morning to be to work. Me oh, no, too. Me no, too. Hey, yes, we, we right yes, there, we right there on it. We right there okay. with that Gosh. shit. Okay. No, that's I, but that's I, why I'm putting in the work so I can leave though. Okay. That's okay. the point of that, me see, going so hard. There you see, go. Because I'm tired of getting up at four thirty working on somebody else's shit. I'd rather be getting up at four thirty working on my shit. There you okay. go. Cause you know what I'm I ain't gonna lie, my fucking my foreman hit me up before I pulled in. He was like, Hey look, I ain't gonna be here until Wednesday. I'm gonna need you to take over and I'm just like I was like, hold on, bro. What the fuck? I'm like, hell nah. So when you said it, it kind of threw me off. Cause I'm just like, I know some outside machinists that saying. make bread. So like, make but mad bread. I think that's something that artists really need to pay attention to because a lot of artists they they think that we live back in the '90s and the '80s where we can just leave our lifestyles alone Mm-mm. and just jump into music and sleep on couches, sleep on floors, sleep no in way, cars. Jose. And and sometimes it does you work. You can do that, but some of us got. Either some of us got kids For or sure. some of us got fucking sure. actual real pride and it ain't an ego thing. Like, you don't want to sit there and put yourself through that struggle. Yeah. So you willing to actually put the extra work in mm-hmm. to stay in a stable home, but still be like, I'm going to give my time to do my craft. For sure. So it's just budgeting your life, just how you have to budget for the music videos that you're doing, the For studio sure. time, mixing, master, and everything. For sure. So, really, like right now, when it comes to the music side of things, I'm basically doing a lot of stuff in house. Like I got a, a nice little team around me, producers, uh, the mix and masters. You know what I'm saying? Just a lot of minds coming together. So I'm grateful to have a team, a yeah. group of guys who who got the same agenda, the same goal. You get what I'm saying? And it's just it. Everybody, if everybody in here do music, you do oh. music. Oh, Y'all yeah, know how this goes. So it's like a. Uh, it's, you got to make somebody believe it's gonna happen. So, as oh, yeah. in, it's hard. It's it's hard to do the work when you don't see no results. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like uh, I'm I'm for me. I just feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to push myself in a in a uh, a faster pace, yeah. a faster pace, just to to understand and believe in myself first and foremost. But to just turn like it's a lot of haters out here, man. Like that yeah. don't that don't really believe in the shit. Like like we got people that 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 say that that rock what is in it. It's like man, you ain't even heard none of my music, bro. Like that's crazy to hey, me. Ace, that shit is crazy Ace, to hey. me. Ace said this two almost two weeks ago. He was like, yo. Stop hating when people are grinding in they grind mode. They say these little subliminals. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Matt, Matt. You said it. Go ahead, take it over. You say, said it, bro. They say your little showcase, your little podcast, you know what I'm like anything that they try to sit there and give you a backhanded compliment sure. to. It's like, bro, mm-hmm. I'd rather you just not say nothing for real. Keep keep that shit to yourself. Or matter of fact, go to the comment section and put it in the comments. Hey. Cause then you're gonna have a bunch of people that do fuck with me. Yeah. Be like, bro, shut up. And not even that, you still helping. As soon as you put You helping me if you, regardless. If you, yeah. if you understand the algorithms, as soon as you put a comment in there, hey. it's interaction. Nah, so it's like, oh, let's share it to five hundred mm-hmm. more people. There you go. That's a that's one of those things the artists don't understand. Like Facts. when you put out a piece of content and someone goes, Hey, do you mind like sharing, subscribing, or whatever like that? Nah, focus on the comments. comments. The, the comments. comment section right there is gonna boost everything. Whether they put mm-hmm. a smiley face, whether they put a fire sign, what what I've noticed Instagram does the comment section. Like you could share it, okay, it goes to their supporters or whatever like that, their fan you base. More notice. But the comment section lets Instagram know, okay, this post is receiving some type of right, interaction type of so let's send it to somebody that's into the same thing especially if your hashtags are right oh, or yeah. your time frame is right it sends it out and that's why i'll be telling you know when i be doing clips and stuff yo have it and they be like oh yeah i got supporters i got fans i got this 
Let's see it. Yeah, Let's fact, see how fact. they feel about your interviews before fact. they see the big interview. Fact. Even mm -hmm. when they see the big interview, Spotify, Apple Music, and then on YouTube, have them comment, have them talk. Facts. Don't you just have promote them watch yourself. Them. Definitely got to put yourself out there. Oh, like yeah. a lot of you got to talk to people. You know sure. what I'm saying? And let them let them understand. That's why sometimes when I do clips, I do it in a way where it gets people like, man, what the hell are he talking about? Like, oh, I want you to get mad. I want you to get upset. I want you not to understand because mm -hmm. when you don't understand, you ask questions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that goes for artists too. Y'all should always make content to make them either question what you're doing, when, where, how, right. why, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Have them question everything you got going on. Right. For sure. For and, sure. and it's going to work for you. Um, right. But one thing that I will say out of that conversation that we just had that kind of boggled me though is because you said you graduated, went to the shipyard, mm -hmm. and then, but that was back in what, 2013? Mm -hmm. So, started apprentice school in thirteen. I ain't, I wasn't in there a year. Got kicked out. I ended up going nuclear, working two years nuclear work, uh, defuel enterprise stuff like that. And then uh, I got back into the apprentice school. Well, see, the reason why I ask that is because from thirteen to twenty four, which was when you released your first single, mm -hmm. that's over ten years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Was there an influence of, of music or artists or did you wake up one day and was like, hey, this is what I want to do? Has this always been a passion? Like, Yeah, so like I was saying, I, I got homeboys back at home. Um, They've been doing music. They they got hella music. And I'm talking about some good stuff out there too. But um, for me, I always been like the supporter friend. Like, okay, what we need, what we need to do in the music video. I'm behind the scenes, make sure we got, you know what I'm saying, whatever. We hype man, whatever we need. You see what I'm saying? Dang. The little stuff that motherfuckers don't think about that helps you get what i'm saying but all this have came into play now that i'm doing it myself because it's like uh even with shooting videos or just boiling down to just making a song in general um i mean what the hell i was going with that what was it's all right take your time <laughs> it happens hey, to look, all of us that's that 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 rum hey that that rum hey look and she ate that, that 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 she Blame said no the islands. Look, she said that, no that no rum. no you didn't take out <laughs> the grills <laughs> man like she took out the evil she took grills them like out too like she brought to take them tops out oh, man hey, she said while i gotta you be professional while you collect your thoughts i want to give some uh, a big shout out to tay tay has been one of those co-hosts that has been very supportive even if she's out the country and she's doing her own thing She's she, even even yesterday. She, I'm just like she's like yeah, I missed my flight from Miami to Virginia, and but I'm still trying man. to make it to the show. And I'm just like, man. Shorty, you not finna get to Virginia. You not finna like, get here. But it was man. the trying fact that you happen. said that. But as soon, happen, yeah. as soon as she was communicating, as soon she communicated that, and like was, I was like, I'm not even mad that you're not here. I'm mad about. I was more mad that it was like. 10 people that I knew that were like five minutes up the street yeah. and they didn't fucking come. Yeah, that's how it be, bro. Not was, everybody and they, was support, they want, and they, but, you, but they was posting on the story, like we just said earlier, like walking the dog and just hanging out, doing nonchalant shit. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, five minutes of your time. That's it. That's two. it. She had two minutes. But she she came back and she brung some, some good stuff. Huh. Some, I'm yeah, not going I don't know how nah, nah, how the nah, laws nah. work, so I ain't gonna say what she brought, but it was nah, 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 it's some nah, nah. good good stuff. Yeah, I got my thoughts. Yeah, you know I'm saying, yep, yep, and uh, I, I'm glad she's back because, like we always say on the show, that's that's my bulldog right there. That's a headhunter. When it comes to music, you see, you see it, you see it. She be looking, and, you and then, then she be smiling, too. or she you hit that little smirk. She business too. That like that's the real judge. I know she meant business. That's the real judge Look, right there. Like she, she, there crazy. That, nah, that's she just don't play. New York, you know. <laughs> she don't play at all. But, but, butters ain't nothing but New York. You know I can't, I can't even talk today. I ain't gonna lie. That shit hitting, so I can't even. I'm silent today. Oh, but, no, no, no. But you had a you know, see, As we go forward, as we go forward, I hope that question that you was already thinking yeah, about. Yeah. It, we definitely gonna talk yeah, about I got it. Questions for sure. Um, but like I was saying, man, it's just it's just crazy. Like you had a support system. And you know, and you said that you were a hype man. Now, me personally, I I resonated with that because mm -hmm. I've always been a hype man, even sure. in middle school. Mm -hmm. Like we was on the bleachers, we'll rap before the yeah. you know go to home room and stuff like man. that. I've always been someone's hype man or been somebody to pick somebody up for sure. And it took a lot of out of me. It took a lot of out of me to it be like 
Definitely. This is Definitely. me. I want to. I want to be in the forefront. I want to show people my talent. And then when it happened, people were like, "Yo, you, bro, you had this the whole time." It's like, bro, you ain't seen me in choir. At least, least they said this. that to you. At least they sat there and was like, "You had this talent the whole time." Like some people, they end up doing it. They start being somebody hype man, and yeah. then they try to go out, and then they actually nice, and then people be like, "Man." No, bro, I've had well, okay, they, so, they so. try to hit you with the cold shoulder yeah, like see, they like crazy. like that's... dang, bro, you think you better than me just because I tried to show my I'm trying to show my talent. That's the that's the the bullshit. I feel like that's the little low key hate, the little jealous, yeah. envy, little bullshit. Like damn, bro, I went, if it was the other way around, I'd have been like, I'd hey, been happy. come on, yeah, you know what I'm saying. The the ones that love love people more than they love themselves, we're a dying breed, bro. Nah, fact, we're, we're dying. Nah, we're, we are we are dying out because. Like people are burning out our light. Nah, mm-hmm. They're taking our energy. They're taking. They're taking our aura, bro, and they're corrupting it, bro. I remember a time where I was okay being in the back, and I know Ace is okay being in the back. Like yeah. you just said, it's okay to be in the back. Thanks. Like you don't know that that feeling where you genuinely happy for somebody else to win, bro. Right, and it ain't so. even about you. Like, you're not even thinking like, oh yeah, when they get this deal, when they get this, I'm gonna win too. Right. Like, fuck they do. I've been in situations, <laughs> but I'm just I'm saying. I'm just happy they been. Look, exactly. I, look, think about this. I knew, uh, you know, the artist Masego. Uh-uh. All right, so he, Masego, Masego and one night, I keep fucking, I butcher his name ever since I met him okay, and shit. Okay, okay. So like, I met him back in school. Yeah. Dude now is doing crazy numbers. Okay. Still, keep going for sure. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, "Oh, you you don't represent Virginia shit, yeah, yeah, bro." Yeah. You're from fucking here, right? Hey, no, nah, uh, when they Google Pharrell, you, that's a that's a VA. It's not even, y'all from fucking here. Y'all always gonna represent from here. It's not right, even right. that, bro. I seen that shit earlier this week, bro. Uh, I think everybody knows about Trap House Coda. Mm-hmm. Like he just he did a song he with Sada song, Baby, with Sada, bro, and then shit the hard. comments. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking the about. The comments, bro. There Went was crazy. one nigga that was, was hating so bad. Was that a country bad. song? No, no, it's no, not he, a country he, song. He, you, you can make it a country yeah. song, but it's a thug country yeah, bro, song. Bro, that okay, shit okay. was Think hard, it, bro. It's Sada Baby and shit, and then nigga, Sada did, Baby see. was on that nigga back, bro. Yeah, I seen that. Bro, they had an Instagram snippet of it. It was kind of like it brought like that whole song gave me the same feeling he did when Sada Baby did something with Pac-Man and yeah, bro. Uh, Free Joe Exotic shit. It was something viral, something fun. Yeah. And it was for this and area. And it was for this oh, okay. area. And it was like, air, this, like you said, I seen that comment. It, it was, was one, one dude, dude just hating, hating, bro. What he was saying? He was, he was just, just like, oh yeah, y'all pushing this white dude on us. Like, he ain't for the culture. Like, how he this, this, this. That's and, the shit I and it was And so, it was so irritating, bro, because it's just like, bro, why can't you just be happy for somebody that's in our city that's it and then be wondering why like i said you act this way towards like these artists that are getting a pop on and they're actually getting that flame they right. getting these cosigns now from asada baby or right even somebody else right and y'all gonna hate them so much that watch they gonna kodak black your ass on some shit and that's it's gonna be crazy. a fire ass diss track bro you gonna it's, 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 it's gonna be a fire I don't, I don't know what's up with you bro you love me <laughs> Man, I like every time that. We be, bro. every time we be having a moment you be like it's a you fire going ass diss. diss like you you gonna you get it it's a fire in the ass NWA era bro cause you it's, love dissing it, motherfuckers bro no, I don't, I don't, I don't like I don't like this. you love it I bet it's the third time you done run that up in last week that's part of the culture honestly but I feel like today Tom that drug that got too wild you can't even say nothing about no everybody's so sensitive nowadays you say something about somebody in the song they be ready to kill you man they, instead see, of treating it like a battle rap but you know the like crazy that. thing about it bro all the all the killers that gangster that drill and mm-hmm. i'm and i want focus i want to put that on me i ain't gonna put it on you mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all drill killers gangsters want to be uh-huh. rap, all that y'all niggas is coming like the dinosaurs the meteor <laughs> didn't struck <laughs> the meteor didn't hit and, and they be y'all are becoming gone. fossils Why? Like that whole era is coming to an end. Like I love when y'all tell y'all stories, bro. But when y'all tell y'all stories and they incriminate y'all selves, dumb, bro. Dumb. Y'all, Talk. bro. The big ones Sit that down. y'all, the big ones that y'all looking up to, even they homies are wearing wires. So your homies is wearing wires, investing. You still rabbit, want to rap about talking about rabbit tricks are for kids? Shit man. is over with, bro. Like that Dirk situation, That's nigga. You up. you literally, bro, getting locked up. 
the same way your daddy got locked up That's and the same amount of kids he had you had and bro the cycle continues you didn't break a cycle bro right all you did was ex- expedited i'm yeah. about to say yeah because everybody keep trying to say no he did break the cycle no because dirk even said it in the interview when he was young when his pops got arrested, there was Tim Mill in the fucking wall. Damn. You did the exact same thing. So I like I'm sorry, bro, but I don't feel sorry for rappers. I don't feel sorry for fact, artists bro. like that. Like oh, yeah, no. if you're rapping about it and you're telling a story, you're telling a part of your life, cool. Like even last interview we had with twenty three hundred CJ, I had told him, I said, Bro, what happens when you get that check for a million? Right. When you're doing them shows and you getting paid twenty thousand a show, ten thousand a show. Mm-hmm. You still gonna be rapping about your hood. You still gonna be rapping about your set. Like you I gotta grow. Bro, I always say this shit, right? If you a you a rapper, right? You used to be a trapper or whatever, right? Yeah. You know how to flip bread. You know how to make quick money, right? Mm-hmm. You rapping, you sign on, you start getting bread. Why the fuck would you not go back to the hood and keep flipping shit if that's what you know how to do? That's what niggas do. Like you can't tell me these these rappers who up here in name, they not going back to their hood and dropping bread and flipping oh, yeah, shit. No, they talking about no, 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 no. Yeah. You can still, you can, you can still I, I'm not do gonna it, say, I'm not like, gonna say stop, that. Don't that, mean, stop talking about it. You gotta realize that they gonna rap because people want, people gotta realize. People want, how you gonna say you want the real, right? You want the real, you want these niggas to come out here and give you some real shit. They giving you real shit. I mean, they gonna get locked up, but yeah. they giving you real. But shit. But it's like yeah. at the end. Of, but at the end of the day, what's your what's your limit to real shit? You See. can talk, bro. I can tell you the same story, right? I didn't gave y'all since y'all been here as the new new members of No Limit. I didn't gave y'all the same story, right? But in different contexts, I can give you a little bit, a little bit, a little bit information. By the time we get three years in and we get a whole platform, we get signed a network, y'all can be like, damn, Ed, goddamn, how many times are you gonna tell this story? Mm-hmm. But it's because I'm telling you different perspectives, different types of uh, lanes of it. These, these artists nowadays, bro, they'll tell you and they'll give you everything, all the details, like the, the FBI, CIA, DEA, ain't looking like. That's yeah, why they continue, okay, nigga, why, that's why, they why, why you think every time? Why you think every time they be making them skits and whatnot, they be listening to a little Dirk album? They be like, "Yep, got him. Got that him. was it. That was it. Yeah, that's yeah we know who's right there. Who shot him? And that's one of those. <laughs> get his ass. And that's one of those things. One, two, four, four. Go get him. <laughs> that's one of those things where we have artists that come on the show, and I'm just like, okay, I love your music. I love it. It's dope. Mm-hmm. It definitely get me hype. But guess what? I'm listening to your I'm listening to your music going to the grocery store, going to the gym, mm-hmm. going to the bank. I'm not listening to that shit going on Jefferson selling some weight. I'm not going on Warwick. I'm not going on Granby Street. I'm not going on fucking High Street selling right. weight listening to your music. I'm just listening to it because it got me hype. Like you got a right. good beat. You got a good little cadence with you. Cool. But okay, but at the end of the day, the, the whole drug dealing wave, the whole street nigga wave, I'm sorry, bro. And a lot of people not gonna like what I'm saying. That shit Welcome. is over with. We in a we in the age of technology, bro. If I tell Siri, if I'm talking in my phone right now, I'm talking talking to my homeboy about some weight, Siri is picking up everything. Everything. Mm-hmm. And, and they and they and they oh oh you you a big fish or little fish. I'm talking about they, they listening. I'm talking about right now on this podcast. The phone's in the pocket. They listen. That's my, my many, pops. Okay, so how many times have we've had conversations? Y'all can attest to it. An ad we pop had, up. No, not even an ad, bro. People's nah. phones go off on their own, bro. Mother, like, Siri, it'll, it'll, Siri be it'll, it'll like, be what like, you say? It'll be like, motherfuckers, all you hear is that Siri. <laughs> you you been be like, there. Oh, like, we that's were, crazy. And we sitting on the podcast like, oh, damn, you got, you got your phone listening. And they like... No, nah, no, nah, I don't know what the that's hell happened crazy. because, bro, like, it's just bro, they listening to you. They want to know that bro. shit when they, they fact, doing hey, that shit. That's like the accident. I'm, knowing, that's I'm the knowing firsthand. Accidental. I'm still writing letters right now. My pops, he off a conversation. He's sitting there with his homie. The phone's sitting right there. Oh, ten, ten years. Oh yeah, no, he, I he still actually got on the back end of that. But it, I got, yeah, two, I got two homeboys. I got two homeboys that literally got out of jail. They, they, they only write letters to each other, but it's not even in English. Long story short, it's like a whole code. Yeah. I'll be looking at that shit. I'll be like, this shit look like gibberish. The fuck is this? They be like, you wouldn't even know. We talking about you. Long story short, just don't do nothing. Yeah, facts. <laughs> don't do nothing. It's a it's stay cool being a civilian. I stay mean, out the bullshit. Even facts. if you even if Nine you wanna five. even if you wanna motivate the public, you know what I'm saying? Motivate them to do better or whatever like that. There's ways to do it where you can help your community and still succeed and still give the message out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You could tell your story. And tell your story and be like, hey, don't be like me. There's ways to move around me. Like, at the end of the day, I watch my friends die. I watch my my homies get locked up, my family. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's ways to do it. 
That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it as like a Uncle Tom or some shit like that. Because at the end of the day, I never want to see my my people at all get incarcerated. I never want to see my culture shit, get fucked over. You right. know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, there's you live by the sword, you die by the sword. That's, that's been fact. that's been here for centuries. That's a fact. You can't live a certain lifestyle and expect, oh yeah, this shit, oh this is not gonna happen to me. No, mm-hmm. it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? And it I just so it. happens that we leave, we losing. The what what what, what, what dirt call himself the uh the preacher of the streets or the, the, voice, voice, the, the voice the voice the voice what voice are you speaking now bro you didn't cut caught you didn't told your niggas not to do something and they did it anyway what voice are you now doing mm, nah, not all niggas? the shit not that's to not do. what the wire don't, said they but, said that's his guy <laughs> but at bad. the end of the, at the end of the day <laughs> <laughs> at, he wouldn't have got arrested if he sat there and said don't do that don't say that shit. But that jam got out that jam, got it that jammed again. God, and, exactly. And with a name like that, you should have expected up. something. Like that's Fuck just. Up. And now I, I understand where uh, Vlad See was coming from because he was like, man. "Yeah, like nigga, you goofy. Like that is a goofy ass shit." I but, can't even talk about Vlad, bro. But, uh, hold on. But we, we 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 we'll get back to him. But I will say this: we gotta get back to the yeah. We gotta get back to the interview. We gotta get back to to my guy right here. Actually, damn, we even got a lot of information oh, in a short time. So we well we good. That's good. That's great content. But what I want to ask you, yes, sir. Um, starting in 2024, bro, mm-hmm. in the middle of the summer, mm-hmm. yeah. What what was the fire that lit your ass? Like, what what was it? Um, uh, that alarm went off. I'm like, damn, I gotta go to work again. Take my ass to work. So I'm already in the mix of um doing the youtube about to get her like the little playing the game i play the game and i'm like i might well just stream this or you know what i'm saying little stuff just throw it on youtube you never know what could happen mm. anyway um in the crib by myself old lady gone and the son gone i'm i'm in there just like man this is what it is i'm about to just go to work and go home every day like this let's let's be productive so boom it started off as in like the gym video if you go back to my my Earlier Instagram, I'm doing the gym videos. Well, I'm working out. <laughs> yeah, I was say we don't want to talk I'm about. Doing, I'm, I'm doing like, the gym videos. I'm real doing the gym video though, uh, but it was like motivation. Fast, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool. Me real quick. <laughs> I don't like none of that now, shit. You go, you skip that part. I skip over that. I'm, I'm talking. Talking. Hey, he said he yeah, gonna, gonna cut this out. Like, he gonna like, cut this out. Nah, fuck all that, bro. I don't want to hear none of that. But yeah, so it started with the gym videos, and it was like. I mean, y'all always been a music head. Like, I love all type of music. That's why, like, um, for me, I'm going to be dropping all type of genres. I don't care what it is. Hip-hop, R&B, country, EDM, I would say, yeah, alternative. No, I'm kinda like, it don't yeah, matter. I'm like, hype about that You one. know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing off the table because me, for me, I just like music. So whatever, when I hear the beat and whatever my intrusive thoughts say, I'm going to say it. Like, you there know what I'm saying? Because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going out harming nobody. I'm, saying, I'm just doing what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm having free time. And once I get to the, to the level where I feel like I can start making... Cause right now I do got a, a couple songs. It's like, bro, that's just bullshit. I'm just talking nonsense, whatever. But it's kind of music's like entertainment. Mm. People want to be entertained, so you know what I'm saying keep the entertainment in there. And um, yeah, I just, I just uh, basically, for real, for real, man. I just because you really been testing yeah. your limits. Like I, I, we listened to like before the show started, we listened to eight singles, bro. Mm-hmm. We and listened to eight all singles, different, and they all different to the point where I had to pause most of them because it was throwing me off. And I'm like, "This you?" And he was like, "Yeah, this me." Or this was a feature, or this is four of us, and it was throwing me off because I'm just like, when I listen to a song, your original song, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to work on it, ladies and gentlemen. I judge books by its cover, so I was like, "Oh, he an R&B dude," you know what I'm saying? I was mm-hmm. like. Okay, he got a little R&B swag with him. But then the next song, you was just like, not necessarily screaming, but you was just like, you was putting your voice in. You was putting your voice in it, bro. And I was just like, who the fuck is this? I was like, I I, I, said he was singing on the other one and mm -hmm. then out of nowhere, he got raspy as hell with the yelling. I was like, man. But I ain't gonna lie to me. It was irritating me a little bit because I I was looking back at him and I'm just like, is he playing with me, bro? Who is this? Like, because I've had interviews where people use other people's music. Nah, that's that's crazy. And bro, that's fucking crazy. No, that happens. it, ha- it happened. in real it's life, happened. yes, yes. here. Fuck no, that's crazy. It's happened here, and they, and I'm and I go back to do my own research, and it was like <laughs> I've had people message me and be like, "Yo, that wasn't his song, that was mine." Da da da. So well, when I heard crazy. that first like, one, and then I heard this, and I was look, like, "Oh yeah, you you, you bugging?" No, nah, because people keep forgetting, and that I don't know what I don't crazy. know if it's the fact that Kendrick whooped his ass 
to where we finally is like we not dealing with this no more. So you said it, not me. I didn't say it this time. I don't care because <laughs> it is what it is. As soon as that's uh, what was it, summer sixteen album dropped and the Quentin Miller references started blowing up everywhere for Drake. After that, reference tracks been coming up crazy. I've done heard mad reference tracks that T Pain has fucking done. For people like Usher, people like Neo, like Neo's been doing reference tracks for fucking Beyonce and shit for years. It's like all these artists. Who can it, you trust? Who the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who the <laughs> who fuck can, can you trust? trust who bro? you can trust? Because after that, none after of y'all. that, all of them started coming up. That's why I was Nobody. like, as an artist, I feel like you should write your own. Like Definitely. singers, singers and pop artists, I get it. That's your lane. That's mm-hmm. something that you're going to have to deal with in the backlash of it. But hip-hop and rap culture, yeah. you got to write your own shit. Facts. I be doing like a little bit of both right now. I do a little bit of writing in, punching in. I, I, I fell in love with punching in now that I got my own little setup and stuff. Mm. Like Because it also helps you harmonize, too. Because you, you, if you sitting there and write something, the whole time you listen to that beat, you just writing. You get what I'm saying? That whole time, you might have skipped a good part where you should have took a breath. So that punching in, that started helping me. And I harmonize something, and I go back to whether I'm singing or, or yelling or whatever nonsense, stuff like that. But, but see, definitely write your own stuff. You ain't, that, that'll just weed out a whole lot of everything. But see, oh, yeah. with the crazy thing about you, though, because you are singing and you rapping, bro, I want you to find your voice. Now, facts. My I, cousin I want, saying I, that, too. I want you to find your voice, and I want you to find not necessarily – your sound mm-hmm. but your your tone yeah because bro once you find your your tone Go and ahead. you find your voice yeah bro it's gonna it's bro you're gonna be golden bro okay mm-hmm. because that's one of those things i was listening to your music and i was just like i couldn't different i couldn't put a difference between you and right, your right. homies because i'm just like he got a he can hit and i want y'all to check me bro because nigga, i do this shit he can hit an alto Type of type of lane, mm-hmm. but then he, he also a tender. Mm-hmm. But then again, he, he be having with the soprano. You know shit. what I'm saying? He be hitting high pitches, so I'm just like, bro. Once you find your your actual shit, yeah, I, I feel like you you'll be golden, bro. Oh yeah, and okay. I think that's good. That's good information. Go I ahead, got, Tay. I, I see got a question hitting. about that though. So when you say find his shit, what do you mean? Because, um, all right, just just clarify on that. Like, what do you mean? Okay, so his one of his songs, I think it was the first one we listened the to. Roll what, with me, roll, yeah, with, yeah, me. roll yeah. with me. He was a hard soprano with yeah. that, right? And then with his next song, he was a baritone, very mm-hmm. deep, and that's mm-hmm. why I, I that was the, he can that was, add, he, that he can no attest to it. Point. I was pausing it constantly because I'm just like, he's like, this bro, you? stop fucking with me, bro. Like, is it you? He was he like, that is me. Like three times, like he paused it. Mm. Was like, this it, you? it's I'm not, it's not you because I'm just like, okay. So he was running from a soprano alto to a tender to a baritone, and it was it was it was kind of throwing me off a little yeah. bit. Each song was different, right. and I'm just like, which one sounds better for him? Which one nah, where his I, voice I, ain't really cracking? I feel like yeah. I kind of know what you mean because my cousin he do music and stuff. Um, he got features from like Days Loaf and stuff like that, but he. He still don't be wanting to push shit out. I'll be like, bro, drop, bro. You got shit in the mean? vault. Drop, I bro. Know. Drop, so you, so you drop. got, so you got a cousin like that. And what, bro, he still, he still. I got a cousin right everything. now that probably done did something with that soft shit don't make no shit, sense. Bro. I ain't heard it. But I'm, hey, look, I'm on your ass. You gonna drop, goddamn it. You gonna go. keep dropping too. But anyway, um, yeah, I know what you mean though, cause he he be like he the time change song. He was like, man, that's your sound. And I was like, what you mean by that? He was just like, that's just the one that's like. Hits more in the sense to where if you make a couple of these tracks, it's kind of like how Boss Man got his own flow. You when oh, you yeah, know, you stick know. And, but right, see, and he sticks with it, right? And and yeah, I, so I, is that, that what you mean by that? Inspiration, yeah. Like find one, find one, and stick with it. I love that you're trying to be versatile, but mm-hmm. you can be don't versatile. Do, you can be vers- you can be that, versatile. No, no, but sure. in that same tone. No, yeah, yeah for sure. If that okay. makes sense. No, for sure. I get what you're you know saying. You know what I'm saying? You can be versatile in that same tone. That's kind of creating your own lane in a sense. I feel like that's where you're going with it. It makes. People like I hate to say his fucking name because I hate his music. Cash Cobain. It's like you automatically. That's that girl I wanna, uh, bro, it's, it's, bro, it's, bro, have you heard his album? Bro, his album. No, no, his album no, is no, disrespectful. Don't, don't, don't Your do album it. is disrespectful. Hey, hey look. Don't do hey, it. 
Hey, no, I'm, not, I'm not part of this. That. He your said that. Your album, is di- he your said album that. was he said the that. same beat with a different fucking sample. <laughs> what do you think? Don't do that. That was 20, almost 20 tracks with different samples from my fucking nostalgia pastime. Right. Oh my damn. God. You gonna right. sit there damn. and do that. That's a, that's a conversation for another time. Damn. Yeah, because like he, he, but, hey, look, no, I, ain't got, hey, look. I ain't got shit to do with that. You can have your but, sound, but, bro, but no. <laughs> I don't want nothing. I don't, but I understand, I, don't want that. I understand what y'all saying. Wrong, like man. having that, Jordan, having that wrong. specific sound that identifies you. Like you could hear that shit and you know, okay, who this oh, is. Oh yeah, okay, like boom, yeah. that's it. Yep. Yeah, I get I mean, you, yeah, because at the end of the day, like we we're producing the world is producing, I would say, at least 15 artists a day. Everybody wants to sing. Everybody wants to do music. Right. But what Just separates 15? you from yourself? But if you're doing different type of tones, different type of voices for right. every song, how does people solidify Ooh. you as an artist? But let's let's talk about like somebody like Cardi, though. That nigga do. 10, 20 hold different on, voices. Hold on, you talking about yeah. Cardi, Cardi? No, yeah, Playboy, Playboy. 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 Okay, yeah. you can't say Cardi and... Yeah. Right. Yeah. That nigga do like 10, 15, 20 different voices. Yeah. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? But and look at his fan base. Yeah, yeah, look, look at his fan base. Look at his fan base. Out. They solid. I no, like they no, solid. no, no, no. I'm saying look, look at their fan base. They look for a, a specific quality and they look for a specific tone to his music. Whether or not he does a different song, he has a tone Every time, okay. yeah, I, yeah. I, I got right. what you're saying. All right. I see what like you're you gonna saying. know it's okay. him. Yeah, that yeah. Makes, that yeah. Makes exactly. Sense. I got you. That's yeah. what I'm saying. If you find your voice and you find your tone, and you collab them two with one, right, right, right. they gonna know who T T row T T row is. Right. Especially when you, that one when you had that um, you had that you had that, and then you had your T Roy made it, and it was yeah, like right. I'm like, yo, okay, the little tag, yo. Yeah. that tag yeah. right, yeah. Tag, right yeah. there, bro. It was it was given. Shout out, hey, shout out. It was given. And, and and you know what? I think that should jump up to the next question. Like, we had this discussion uh with A Team's interview. Mm-hmm. And Tay, uh, now now your question is gonna come in. You had said you had said, like, oh damn, shooting off an iPhone, shooting off of 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 just a phone period just instead of phone. a bunch of equipment. Yeah, just right. a phone period. You know what I'm saying? Your lady, your lady mm-hmm. shot off an iPhone. Come on, man. With your music videos. And Falling for you. And it was and, see that. And it hit you. And, and it was see that. quality. Which I will Mascuzzi. say this. It was quality. Said Chef's you know, kiss. Certain certain artists that I've seen in the 757, like y'all are big time on Instagram, but then I go to y'all YouTube, y'all Spotify, y'all Apple Music, and, low, and it's low as shit. And it's like, oh, y'all don't got no traction or whatever. He got traction. He got the comments, he got the oh, likes, each he got every and with each one. And then when you look at the video to find out that it was done by iPhone and all of us, all of us in here, we all, we got all watched it. On that note. I would say whether it was editing, whether it was just getting video footage, y'all did y'all thing, bro. That. And yes. it made the song even better because Appreciate like that. What what I say in the beginning? We had those questions. We had like you had me and Ace looking like these some big ass niggas. Like we was we was it might have been some jealous yeah. shit, but I was I was upset. Yeah, I, was that, I was like, why yeah. this nigga so big, bro? Like put on a shirt. Like I'm, it, it was I'm irritating. I'm going to the gym tonight. <laughs> yeah, for tonight. real, bro. I'm about to hit my fifty tonight. Like and you know what I'm saying? I used to be fit. Everybody knew Ed used to be like that. that. But it was just like me. I was looking. I was flex. like, damn. Okay. Then you had the water scene where he was coming out the water, but it was it was reversed. And mm-hmm. I was like, then you got shit. the transition scenes. Then you got man, the angles. They're trying to be and, creative, man. And then it was like one of those things where it was like, but it was just simple stuff, bro. Like I feel like like Tay was saying, you don't have to have all the fancy equipment. Fact. If you know how to work that shit, it's just like when you sat there and was like, hey, bro, you know how to use cap cut? I was like, no. And then I downloaded it. Start easy. fucking with it. I was bro, like, this was, is kind of fucking easy. So easy. I made it, like four or five different jokes. And then but you was, was disrespectful like, with it. You you did like a whole damn near movie. He was like, I didn't yeah, even you, know. He was like, yo, you use CapCut? Did the shit. Then he put his video. Then he was sending me like three videos. And I was like, so you just going to do that in 24 hours and just, just yeah, shame this, on me. Nah, <laughs> this is shame, this, shame, this, shame on this me, is bro. the but, game you gave to me, the knowledge you gave me. I hate when people do that. But look, you give me this knowledge and then I go off and I finally put it to work. That's that's how I even got off the off the music video porch, though, because the, uh, the time change video, like I said, one of my teammates shot that video. That was the very first video we ever shot. Yeah. So he, he didn't have the time to edit, though. 
know what I'm saying? So I was just like, man, all right, what I need to do? You know what I'm saying? He was just like, really, you could just download any software that that edit in, get they pro, whatever, mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying? Just make it look professional. Watch a couple videos. I, hey, look, YouTube. Hey, YouTube <laughs> got information. So I watched Them tutorials. Is a real. I'm thing. talking. About, that's how I learned how to use FL Studios. YouTube. Man, that's how. That's how I learned how to do Mixcraft, Logic, on, Pro Tools. Learned how to start mixing my own shit Face. a little bit. So when I went to studios, I already had my shit done. We just re-recorded it because now I gave you a rough draft. Of so what the fuck is it? Facts, facts. So boom, he I just was like, all right, cool. So got in there the um falling for you video. That was the very first video that I uh start editing and stuff like that. Y'all check it out. Let me know how I did, whatever. But um, he did it. Was just like, he did that shit. It was just like from the <laughs> like directing and. If this angle or just putting it even the pool scene, like from when I'm coming out the water, it was like, all right, we're gonna this one shot, this one scene. So I'm making sure I probably check the angle ten times before I did it. I ain't gonna lie, you was, fucked up a good suit with that though. Hey, yeah, hey, but it was the last scene. It was work. We already shot the whole video. If you would have brought that back and be like, hey, uh, yeah, so I'm bringing back the suit or whatever. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Said, I would have took. I, back I, hey, yeah, I'm suit. taking you to court. Oh, I'm taking you to court. <laughs> But what That's I want to do is, ladies and gentlemen, is you got another track that we was listening to. Uh, mm -hmm. Was it Time Change, right? Uh, now that was a video. That, uh, the, the other video. But the I, other want, I, I want to play. We're going to play all your songs tonight. But I'm right, just saying, a, Time Change was the second video that you had. That's the YouTube. other video, yeah. I want to set a vibe real quick. We're going to collect our thoughts, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. Um, yeah, this interview already, bro. We ain't even that. We ain't even halfway through, and I'm just like, I'm excited yeah. because it's good the vibe is the vibe is there. It's the information there, uh, the entertainment's there. Like, I'm, I'm excited. So right now we listen to. I'm drinking rum, rum, oh, Red Bull. Oh, oh. Baby, I'm with all Hold on now. We keep it. Hey, shout out J Money, man. We got second verse on this one. Let's go. Fucking that bitch in the back of the movies Came in that bitch she wanted to chew me Eat me up, that bitch wanna chew me Spit the night, when she ready to fight Now she feeling groovy Hold on, bitch, don't stop that shit I crash out, I crash out Bitch, don't make a move I got a gun, bitch, don't make me use it All the drugs over there, bitch, you taking it over there Bitch, you bitch, don't abuse it All stay in good hands, I'ma use you Got a brain, bitch, you better use it all that jibber jabber talking crazy, all that shit, a nigga bitch, we gonna lose it. Yeah. 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 Damn, I'm metal, I'm shoot like fucking green. Damn, bitch, I'm stupid, I'm crazy. Fuck it, yeah, you saying. Damn, I'm boring shit, I'm running fast. You saying. Damn, damn, I got the handyman tools, man. Who's man? Hey, nigga tripping, I'm like, fuck it, bitch. Who's man? Is this? Damn, fuck it up, damn. Chocolate candy, bitch. Fuck like Twix, damn. Bitch, damn, she running fast blue. Like Sonic, bitch, damn. And you know, I'm stacking this cash every day. I'm like, fuck that bitch. Damn, you know I got to dress up, get my shirt, it's tough, little bitch. Damn, you know I'm chewing, she chew me up like some bubble or gum, little bitch. Damn, bitch, you stupid, she can't get the answer right, she a dumb little bitch. Damn, damn, she boom, boom, that shit fast like a bullet in a gun, little bitch. Damn, damn, I just fit my truck, little shit. Yo, I will say this. Th that is exactly what I was talking about earlier when I was like, yo, y'all find y'all's pitch. Yeah. Y'all, y'all lure in certain ways. Mm -hmm. Y'all did exactly. And it, I ain't gonna lie, it gave me kind of a Cardi, Cardi reference as Type well, shit. too. Yeah. Hey, look. Hey, that's, that's what I'm that saying. Way. That's a good like, fan that base whole, over there. The Juice World fan base. You know, I, I take thought of That's a good fan base. Different voices and shit. That's how you get that, that, that sound. Mm -hmm. I feel like I fuck with shit like that. Real type shit. Yeah. That's actually a song that my cousin was when he called and said you need to find it. He was that's the one he recommended me. He was like, cause it's like different. It's raspy. It's a little bit of this. It's a little bit of. That. He was like, man, that I, I fuck with that. And it was just a. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, cool. But for real, I just and to something pop off, I ain't, I ain't gonna stop trying everything. Yeah. Well, see, the crazy thing about it, bro, like 
your your page when you go to your page you mm. would have thought you've been doing it for a couple years a couple months or something oh the least gave you about a five year marker i appreciate that type drunk. but to know that you and they was getting hype earlier like yeah. you, you and your lady y'all was getting hype he was like yeah i told you i told you i'm just like Nigga, what? Y'all had this shit planned? Like, <laughs> no, bro. Y'all had enough content where motherfuckers would think y'all been doing this. Sh- You've been doing this shit for years, but yeah. to start this late 2024 and to like really running it yeah. now. Will I? I will. I. I'm not going to do is tell you that it's perfect. It's not perfected. Nah, for sure. You know and what I'm saying? I'm not going to come up here and, and and some people might be like, you glazing, bro. I'm not going to do all that. Like, does it need work? Yes. Absolutely. Do you need to, do you have to tweak some certain things? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. But I will say the content alone, the content alone, if you continue with the content, what you got going on right now, bro, you would blow the fuck up because you're oh, yeah. consistent. There right. you go. The consistency is... Is 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 heavy. Yeah. It's like crack. Yeah. Like crack ain't good for you, but if you keep getting shit, you gonna hey, you really gonna, you get addicted to it. Right? You gonna yeah, get addicted. Everywhere. But I say I watch a lot of podcasts, like motivational podcasts, like the ETs. The you know what I'm saying a little bit. I've been watching Club Shay Shay with OJ Sink. All that I watch a lot of stuff, and it's um a lot of stuff boil down to just work. Are you willing to do the work? Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And for me, now that I've been in doing music, like we went on um. Me and Jay Money, we went on uh Who's Next Seven Five Seven, did a freestyle and stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. that, how I was feeling. I ain't had that feeling for real, for real since like I played football in college. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I was telling them like, bro, I like that feeling. You know what I'm saying? It feel like I'm I'm doing something. So it's like it's a lot of fuel to the. It's different reasons to where everything all this making sense. Like I got a two year old that I just like. I feel like when he get older, he should be able to get whatever he want to. You get what I'm saying? So that's another fuel to the fire. I got a young lady who who believe and back me up, you know what I'm saying, and, and push me to just, you feel me? Hey, look, I don't see what's going on. It might not work right now, but God damn it, if you keep trying, something bound to happen. So it's little shit like that, just it's, extra fuel to the fire. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the things that you just said, when you said, who's next, 757? Mm-hmm. I literally uh, read... In the beginning, bro, I would see them post and post they like they, they, they freestyles mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Shout out to y'all, bro, because a lot of For the sure. artists, a lot of the artists that y'all bring on the y'all show, I I want to bring on this show, is because like they got a certain criteria mm-hmm. of, of of rapping, freestyling, R and B singing, anything, yeah. and it's like who's next? Like I'll take I'll take more inspiration from them. Than anybody else Like if I was looking on anybody And no, no show to anybody else's podcast But Podcasts or interviewers Or journalists or anything sure, But sure. I would look at them And be like okay They put an effort to get on y'all show And to really show oh, y'all's yeah, talent yeah. You seen sure. the website? No I seen you, the, you that's seen a, Like sure. I, I, I'm agreeing with you on that one Cause like As an artist I went On the website Just seeing like Yeah Go like, through and see how much everything of it cost and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And they was, I was like, bro, you literally have it's four different, it's four or five different sections just off the website. That's like you can come for this, 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 Fights. or this. It's set up, it's and, nice set up, too. It's set up, nice nice set up. exactly. And so, with that being said, it's just like one of those things where I take, like, okay, you went on there, I respect you a lot more because they don't go for that whole. Then I would hope they don't go for it, but from what I've seen, they don't go for the whole editing thing. When they tell you to freestyle, nigga, mm-hmm. you gonna freestyle. freestyle. Uh, yeah, got to and get it I've in. Seen, got to get it in. I've seen a couple of them that. Mm-mm. Got to get it. This ain't your thing. We but, seen. A, hey, look, I was feeling nerves. I felt mm-hmm. a little. That's why I said I felt a little nerves. You know what I'm saying it's, and it was the first time it was like a uh, in front of a camera, like putting mm-hmm. yourself out there to the world. So it was just like, uh, it was a great experience, man. Great experience, and it's just after that. Now it's like a chain reaction. I got to just keep going. You see, me? that's why I, like, I appreciate y'all having me out here. I love, I love the, the vibes, everything that's going on here. You know what I'm saying? And Virginia as a whole, like, I went to a little open mic situation. It was nice. It's been good vibes and stuff like that. And I, I always leave with love too, though. Like I don't, I'm, I'm not a hating ass person. So if I see somebody, I'm gonna speak. You get what I'm saying? I don't mind speaking to people. I'm not, I'm not here to prove myself. Like. Bro, you tougher than me, bro. You got it. I ain't. I'm not a tough guy. You know what I'm saying? And we you know said, what I'm saying? And we said that with Asia. I told him that with that. You know, after he did his set, I was like, "Yo, the shorty after you, she was tough. She was fire. Yeah. It was just she got repetitive with her 
with her mixes with her songs yeah. and it was just like okay the first one came out and you said the exact same thing yeah. after that and i was just like eh. not the exact same thing but the exact same message or tone and i was like all right what's what's next what's yeah. after you so i think that's one of those things for artists that y'all should all strive for is to be different in 757 gotcha. because i will tell you that too i'm gonna tell y'all right now Ooh, excuse me. Excuse, That's that excuse, Caribbean. He said, "Excuse me." Right. That's that Caribbean. Excuse Shout out to DJ YT. But um, a lot of y'all in the seven five seven, bro, step y'all's lanes. You know, what I'm saying, really push y'all's lanes and everything like that. But we about to be the next city, the next state that everybody look at Unity, again. Man. Like it's a cycle yeah. with cities. It's a cycle with the the ones that are winning. Virginia is about to be the ones that are winning again. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because a lot of people be like, oh, I got to go to this state, this city, this, this, and this, ah. and get it. Virginia mm-hmm. is a gold right. run. And I said it multiple shows. Yeah. It's to the point where people are coming out here most. Yeah. I they, think it's already got hella the- talent that's already up there that's from Virginia. So Virginia definitely got that shit. It's just a matter of unity. Like, if. If we realize how strong we really can make, and we really can take this shit over, like not necessarily like a uh, overpower, but everybody, it's enough out here for everybody to eat. If everybody support everybody, everybody be eating. It's just that fucking simple. Mm-hmm. It I, ain't fucking rocket science. I kind of noticed it because, like I said, in November we got some heavy hitters coming in. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I got people from. I didn't say I. We got people from Cali that's coming in. So. That seen our snippets, our clips, our videos, and it's just like, oh yeah, I'm trying to do a whole DMV circuit, but I want to start with the 757 out of all Virginia cities. That's tough. I want to start here, and that say something too, right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, say and I want to do something here, and then work my way through the East Coast. And I was like, okay, yeah, y'all seen those messages that I sent mm-hmm. y'all? So it's legit. And I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And yo, you bringing heavy hitters with you? That's taking over the Midwest. That's taking over the Cali scene. Mm-hmm. So it was one of those things. I it really solidified. Like I wanted to move. I wanted to leave Virginia at one point, but mm-hmm. now at this point, I'm stuck with Virginia. Like you I'm about make, to be because you're gonna make it work. Your roots is too. You're gonna make it work. Yeah, like the roots are already there. Like I'd be ashamed to leave and then the shit pop off and be like, oh yeah, I came from Virginia. Da, 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 da. Like don't get me wrong, I like the nomad status. Like. I do claim North Carolina, I do claim Georgia, I do claim South Carolina, Florida, and all y'all, but Virginia as a whole, claim it. 757 as a whole, claim it, because... I just hate the fact that, like, out of Virginia, it's like, why the heck? It's like, we consider the North, but, mm-hmm. like, I mean, we consider Wait, the South. Wait, what's considered North? 757? No, uh, 804 would probably be considered okay. more Northern. More yeah, like, Richmond area. Richmond area north. and up, that's like more Northern. Okay. But it's like Virginia as a whole, we're considered as a Southern state, but the South literally be like, nah. Yeah. Because we, we part of but the first like 13. But it's like in between. Yeah, we, it's not, we, for, we, for, we the first 13, but at the same time, everybody from Philly, Baltimore, New York comes here. Everybody from Florida, Atlanta, mm-hmm. North and South Carolina come here. You know why? We're the biggest melting pot. Exactly. I'm glad it's you said it. We, we the, the melting pot. We biggest. are. We are versatility as is, as a whole. We 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 running that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can you come can't. here. You can be screamo. You can do fucking alternative. You can do rap. You no, can do, real shit, you can do bro. all that shit. I learned how to record from. I literally learned how to record myself from a black male. Black dude that literally he rap, yeah. but he like scream music and shit, Ain't no wrong heavy with metal shit. type that shit, like, like all that shit. That and like. I was like, I don't like that, but I want to record. Can you help me? Yeah, yeah, come on. I see it, everything would be much easier if everybody worked like that. Everybody operated like that. Hey, look. No, nah, people. That might not be my field, but I got a little technique. Let me give you this little bit of knowledge. I'm gonna give you this little bit of knowledge, and mm-hmm. we gonna, you know, what I'm saying, go to the. Uh, we got to the, a weird the, space the where not, we got to a weird space where knowledge is so rare to where now, if you want to gain it, you gotta pay for it. That's a fact, though. But everybody, everybody be trying to hold up, man. Look, get a game knowledge. The youth, the youth need us. Mm. Take two seconds, talk to the babies, man. Take two seconds, talk to the baby. You don't never know. Two seconds can change anybody. 
everything, man. Everybody just learn how to communicate. The world be a much better place, man. So we're gonna listen to this next song right here, mm-hmm. and then now I'm yelling on that one. After after this song, we're gonna get the No Limit way. There's a reason why we call ourselves the No Limit Podcast. And we're going to take it there Because I'm going to I'm gonna ask him some questions And I hope Tay asks some questions A to ask some questions oh, yeah, We going to get you We going to get you out your, your element That's good Ain't nothing come from the comfort zone my problem. Oh yeah we gonna, I'm going to break your comfort zone That's I already right. know what I'm about to ask you But right now you said we You wanted this right here right That's what you said yeah. I think that's what you said Yeah LTDS Lean and thinking, drink and smoking I'm glad you said that because yeah. I didn't know what that Everybody meant. Everybody say that. Everybody asked me. So that. say it again for the audience. Leaning, thinking, drinking, smoking. If it's up there, then it's stuck there. Ain't no running, go get your face. I've been leaning, I've been thinking, I've been drinking, I've been smoking. Yeah, we spent they block, they wasn't there. They in that cage. I've been leaning, I've been thinking, I've been drinking, I've been smoking. Grandpa, a heavy load, we split that shit to different ways. I've been leaning, I've been thinking, I've been drinking, I've been smoking. We on the air. I might walk in this bitch. She know me when I walk in the room. She want a nigga that make her happy and smile when he walk in the room. She always playing games. I told her, stop that shit. Cause I'm that nigga, I'm chasing a dream and I'm not going hard at it. In this game, I'm the motherfucking MVP. You bitch niggas ain't really wanna fuck with me. I tell you what it is. I tell you what it ain't. You niggas hoes, you niggas bitch. I put that in that paint. I made my move, I stood it up, I stood on all ten. Y'all niggas gonna fuck with me. If it's up there, then it's stuck there. Ain't no running. Go get your face. I've been leaning, I've been thinking, I've been drinking, I've been smoking. Yeah, we spent they block, they wasn't there. They in that cage. I've been leaning, I've been thinking, I've been drinking, I've been smoking. Grandpa, a heavy load. We split that shit in different ways. I've been leaning, I've been thinking, I've been drinking, I've been smoking. We on the ass. We on the ass. We on the ass. So I will say I will say this And I'm gonna let everybody speak On their own Own support about that song Right there Definitely needs to be tweaked For sure You know what I'm saying And what And what And what What um Tweet where Like what you mean by that Ooh That's perfect You wanna take it Or you want me to take yeah. it Yeah um, Go ahead, take it. For you me, take it. for me, cause I fuck with the song, and I actually got actual artists that I listen to personally mm-hmm. that do that type of vibe. They do a lot more the the screen part. They do a lot more reverb. I got or, you. Let it like carry out a little bit. Yeah, cause then it kind of helps with the raspiness of like you yelling. Yeah. And then on top of that, the switch up. Okay. When what it started getting Sick. to like a thug type flow almost. Mm-hmm. That part. Are you talking about like the second verse with like the 
robotic sound in a sense? Yeah. yeah, I got you. I got you. Um, maybe a little, probably like a pinch more of auto tune in that, but like other than that, just trying to like stretch certain words okay. out. Like that, I've been leaning, I've been drinking, I've been, yeah. I've been smoking, smoking, smoke, smoke. Like, I got you. Drag it this out. This is a smoke advocate talking to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I even lighten up the mood. This is a smoke said, advocate. This is a smoke advocate. That's all I say. Shit. They don't say I'm big saying, smoke ace. Yeah. So I did with a dime, man. So, so me personally, listen to the song. I I fucks with it because you you tapping into another element. I fucks with it because you. Tapping into another sound mm-hmm. It was just one of those things Where like The hook The cadence Yeah It was throwing me off Because I don't know if it was low You talking or, about How it would go in the background Oh uh, yeah It was noise like fa- You talking about like the Yeah the fade in Suppressed, Fade out Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It, 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 it was throwing me off To the point where It's just like You don't even need that Like You don't need it You gonna scream on the shit Scream on it nigga Mm-hmm. Scream, scream! Uh, I said, "Nigga, I don't, even, I don't even say nigga on." <laughs> God damn, it, I just said it four times. Fuck, yeah, we anyway, here. But anyways, that that tells you that the No Limit Podcast is really stepping in. Yeah. I personally take out the hook, and his song is already made. I okay. mean, this is for future songs. If you gonna do something like that, bro, mm-hmm. and it's gonna get me hype, yeah, like that. Da, 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 they keep me in that element okay mm-hmm. and that's just me I, I disagree though i disagree hit. i disagree i feel like um the shit you was just doing i got a lot like how you say he got artists that he listens to i got a lot of artists that i listen to it got this nigga from philly that do the same shit what's that nigga name, name. Um, i can't even remember that nigga name but fuck it we ain't talking about him we talking about you yeah. um I fuck with shit like that. It's mm-hmm. like, it's to the point where, like they say, you know, got a little bit of tweaking that need to get done because it's like the background, the the chorus, okay. it fades in, right? But it's not, you wouldn't you wouldn't really know that was the chorus yeah. because it wasn't really punching. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got you. If, if it was go. punching a little bit more, I got you. then that shit would have hit because I felt like it faded in, then it faded out. It faded in. You. It faded in like a tagline. It was okay, kind of like okay, a tagline okay. more than a chorus. You yeah, see what I got you. But... I fuck with it. What's up? I do. I What's personally that? fuck with What's it. That? I feel like I switch up my music style every two weeks. Ain't every no. two weeks, I'm on something new because Man. I try to keep my music, you know, up there. I try to listen to everything. And right now, this is the type of shit I listen to. Okay. So that's why I probably think I'm on it. Yeah. Because that's what I'm on right now. So for sure. For I feel sure. like it's, it's all great it's feedback, solid. man. It's great solid. Feedback. It's solid. Yeah, yeah for, sure, for sure. Because it, of- it's even hard. Like, I can give you uh, artists that. He not mainstream, mm-hmm. but he not underground and whatnot because he got signed to Cash Money and got let go afterwards. Okay. Uh, Kasky, it's like one of the only white boys they signed. Okay. He got a lot of like pain music that goes towards that type vibe that you just went to. Okay. But it's just more pain into it. So that's why I was like the echo, the reverb, the just dragging out certain like to make it drag out yeah. a little bit like on certain words because the whole thing was like yo these are that's a bar yeah where like you just sit back and you don't really think about it until later where mm-hmm. it hits you later and be like oh shit i got that <laughs> it was like one of those but it's like if you just do them little simple tweaks yeah that shit golden right there you can Redrive that motherfucker for, sure. for real. That's good information, man. I appreciate that. Take that's all what, feedback, man. And and, Take and literally feedback. that's what we do. Oh, yeah. That's what we do on the normal podcast, bro. Oh, we yeah. give our perspectives. Oh, yeah. Like I said, we got artists in the building. We got DJs in the building that you know what she DJs for clubs and the parents and stuff like that. So that's tough. That's tough. That's that's I, I mean that's naturally necessarily what we do here. Um I said, bro, the vibe is there, especially mm-hmm. because you've only been doing this for a couple months. Mm-hmm. Like it's I said, just... I can't even give you a year title because until it hits that year mark, I can't give that to you. Yeah. So you're still learning your craft. You're still learning everything you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. 
So taking the, a risk, man, leap of faith, you know, everything is exactly what we, we got one chance at this life, man. What I'm realizing is once this life over and that breath gone, it's over. With. It ain't no, I wish I could have. Uh, I'm taking the risk. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, perfect. I, I talked to my old lady mama all the time. She like, she like, I don't like, I don't listen to the music, what you're doing, but I support you. She, that's that's plenty. I take it. Oh, yeah, you know I, got, I, I take got plenty. It. Hey, it is what it is because so, we get plenty of those. I'm so, just gonna yeah, keep, do, I'm not gonna man. not do what I feel like I want to do. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to not take a risk or leap of faith or bet on myself in a sense. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. so we definitely other people's get, opinions and shit like that. We definitely get those type of vibes and we definitely get those type of opinions. But now, I, like I said, after that song, I was going to right. tweak it. We're going to get to the no limit way. Talk to me. Independent mm -hmm. or sign, which one do you need to succeed? Mm. Um, For me... I'm gonna say either or because sign I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the route to where it's like y'all gotta deal with my shit. So if I'm signing to y'all label, it's gonna be a partnership instead of you signing me, you basically getting all my motherfucking money and fucking me over. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like uh I forgot the young dude name who said what he said, but um what was his damn name? Young dude from Cali. But anyway, he was just basically saying, like, I had my own shit going. And I just had the label pan my studio. It was already it oh, had the y, business. Uh, Almighty uh, YJ. My, yo, yep, Jay, already exactly. know. Almighty J. So, that was crazy. That was, I that, already was going to bring like, that That's up. free game. If you ain't listening to what that man said, that's free game right there. So it's in definitely sense, in independent. Sense, in I say that just, I say in a sense, just for the simple fact of that's one route you can take. Right, exactly. Wu-Tang showed you another way with the woo wear mm -hmm. and shit how they did that it's multiple ways to do it you just have to honestly not fuck that advancement over. that's it that's the main core of being signed to a label and that's it and that and that's the main thing i feel like what people don't realize that when they give y'all that advancement stop that shit is it. not to go buy a fucking a big goofy ass chain that Man. shit is not to go buy the big dumbest car come on that shit is to put money into the craft and and better yourself. That just gives you, you unless she got insurance because them That's niggas, it. them niggas Man. is trying y'all, bro. bro. What? They get free these, checks these, off y'all niggas they dying. They dumb shit. Y'all better be home. Y'all better pay attention. Shit. I pay would attention. say these YNSs right now, bro. They trying y'all, bro. And if y'all speak that shit that y'all think y'all hard, bro. they they trying you, bro. They not looking for the motherfuckers to be like, oh yeah, they got money. That's nah, hard. that's or but, they do music. They looking for the motherfuckers where, that that think they are what they not. Exactly. That, that's why exactly. I reverse back to what we said earlier and whatnot. You got people that get this advancement. They spend it on the dumb shit. Then they owe the fucking label even when they retarded. independent. Retarded. They, retarded. You retarded got to go money. independent now, and you now popping, but you still owe this fucking label. Say, cool, big, nice nice chain, though. Matter of fact, what, <laughs> it's, it's, it's one dude, uh, it's light-skinned dude that was on 50 Cent Show and whatnot. I'm not sure. He, he an artist Which, slash what, actor. Rodney? Yeah, retired me. He owed, he owed bro money. 300,000. Like 50, sign, 50 signed him and everything. Dropped them, ended up still Dang. being able to get on the show, still got on the show. Yeah. Acting skills were still good to get you on the show and then turn around. He but did you understand what he said, though? He said out of that, he was like, he 50 had told me, like, oh, yeah, you got fire-ass music. The reason why 50 had kept them is because... He was like, yo, we're going to make some publicity out of it. You already number one mm. in your city or your state. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my emphasis and make it look like, oh, yeah, you really not that. Like, why would I sign somebody like that? Because people like controversy. I don't they, know they why. Love, people they, like they drama. Love people like love negativity. The positive shit for they sure. love that's negativity. That's why I say, bro, that's why I say 50 the, positive. 50 the I mean, best that kind of person. That's a genius, boy. That, that motherfucker a genius for yeah, sure. That really motherfucker is. definitely a genius because, like, he 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 come he doing everything he already ten steps ahead and that's how I feel like I'm I'm kind of trying to take the approach to it so I'm already thinking like all right I can't do I, a lot of people don't know me so I'm gonna do a little bit of rolling out like I'm a bunch of promo but right now mm. I'm just content 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 yeah. get this shit out there because then once once I get a, a a fan base or whatever then I can start doing more so of like roll out I'm album drop in a month album dropping two months i ain't got the fan base to wait three months to goddamn drop oh, some shit. Me, i, I need to drop my we'll shit see, like yesterday well see yeah, the thing oh, yeah, is i know I, the, I believe that well see the thing is with you right now bro you got the content and you got 
I don't know how you got it, bro. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. No, I don't no, know. I don't know. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, I don't know how the with your even with your team, you got enough content to make you feel like you've been doing this shit for years. Yeah, so sure with that. that being said, is it's just like, bro, no matter what you got going on, rollout or no rollout, you can push a single, mm-hmm. and I know that single is gonna give that. It's, it's gonna, gonna give that, numbers. bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. A lot of artists, saw, a lot of artists don't. Views. They don't have what you got. Appreciate that. Because they're trying to follow somebody that's went through the struggle, mm-hmm. and instead of like watching their struggle and learning. For example, for example, the baby. I've seen a lot of artists from the seven five seven try to copy the baby, Stop and not understanding that this man, like I, I remember watching him sleeping in my granddad's basement Damn. in the bed, watching him putting a diaper on yeah. just to solidify himself different from other artists during the showcase. And they were trying worked. to joke, and but it's the it same worked. people. It's the same people that tried to joke him on that. That's why he took that leap of faith. Yeah, that's why I was like, do sometimes that. you. That's why I'm glad you brought him up as an example because. Everybody was joking his ass for that shit. Look that diaper now. and shit, looking dumb as hell. And when then, he went by Baby Jesus. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. But, exactly. And exactly. that's when he was dropping heat after heat after heat. Yeah. Mixtape after mixtape after mixtape. He would do songs. He would do fucking videos where it would drop one song and it would drop another song. He would stop that shit halfway. And, and go it, to a whole smart. new song. That's, and that's shit. Genius, It was though. smart, bro. Like, and, 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 and how many people do you know nowadays that are doing that out of that? They want. It, it's, it's, it's just the fact that it's Man, just don't the make fact, the section that you. Oh, my fault. Go. It's the fact that artists are trying to copy that, but don't understand what they were what they were doing at that they time. They don't know yeah. the meaning of it. They don't know the meaning of really putting out content for real, for real. For sure. Like we are oversaturated. I will say this personally, for me, mm-hmm. for anybody else, we were we are now oversaturated with fucking jokes, comedians. Um, everybody doing uh, music artists artists period so everybody like everybody thinks it. okay I'm going on the internet I can post on these platforms and I can make it I'm gonna be a millionaire I'm gonna be a thousandaire mm-hmm. but at the this end of the day like, like that. it definitely don't it you don't, so, it look, don't. they stopped doing that shit after Soldier Boy and Justin Bieber <laughs> But see the thing is, is like, bro, First like rapper, you can, yeah. you can. They stop let's, let's looking at. They stop like looking this. at. They stop, bro. Those the last two First motherfuckers rapper. that they was like I'm internet, not, not internet like famous. I'm not even saying like that. Think about it like this, bro. We we are so conceited with being on top over everybody else. You could have been making before the fame, before the notoriety or whatever For like so. that. You could have been making twenty five, maybe be thirty five hundred a mm-hmm. month. Then with your art, with your talent. You could be you could be making ten thousand. Right. You could be making ten thousand a month, and people are still not satisfied. Like right right now, bro. If anybody in this room right now, out of all five of us in this room, mm-hmm. if you was making ten thousand a month, would you not be satisfied? I don't want to talk about that. I no, no, nigga, I, I want you to talk about it because absolutely. From where you are, from where you are right now, would you not ten thousand a month? 10,000 a month 10,000 a month I can honestly tell you right now I'd be promoting myself better than a lot of these independent motherfuckers out here and I can honestly say my Hold on, my, no, 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 my no, family no. be living great no, we wouldn't exactly. be struggling that's, for that's shit no. That you get look, great that music at, nine to five. at the end of the great, day not, what? Hold on at the end of the day that's what I wanted you to talk about Yeah we going to be we, straight We want to get rich to take care of ourselves take care of our families mm-hmm. and shit like that if we making 10k a month 10k a month that's after taxes and all that's that that's plenty we can make some there's shape. 12 months in a year so you're making 120 compared to what you've already making right now mm-hmm. i don't know what y'all making but that's 120 just in a more k than what i'm making yeah, right I'm now <laughs> okay so at the end of the day are we not happy like i, w- I will be, be honest with you if i could pay everybody in this pot my, my co and i'm sorry about you but <laughs> if i can pay my co-host my co-host right now you like say, oh yeah, we play, we gonna pay the No Limit podcast ten k a month, and I could be like, here, 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 here. That'd be dope. Said, Nigga, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling gracious. No, facts. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. You would never see especially me coming here it come without from, smiling. How it started, everything that took to get to that step. Man, Man, hell yeah, I'd be satisfied because satisfied shit, as fuck, bro. I, I, I'd be in here with a YT damn, fucking right. grill on just and keeping shit. Keeping it simple, bro. Just uh, keeping it simple. Yeah, I just came, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. came yeah. in with my keeping shit. Keeping it I got simple, new one. making shit happen, bro. Because ten k, hey. 
it's, it's, it's a lot of money, but it ain't a lot of money because shit going up. Y'all see these prices. Hey, hey, you hey. can't even get no fucking dollar, it's little only, dollar menu no more. No, no. It's, right. not, it's only a lot of money if you don't know how to budget it. Exactly. That's you live a, gotta be smart. If you live a, you if you live a high budget lifestyle, if you live a high end lifestyle, if you gotta eat Rue Chris and Red Lobster and all this expensive, What's like not Red Lobster, but Rue Chris and all this expensive yeah. shit, Benny Hines and all that. Bro, you gonna need more than the 10K. Yeah, I but for see, somebody like me, bro, that lives a J. Cole type of lifestyle, riding store. my bike and shit, bro, we gonna Cook be eating food. off of that. I'm you know, talking right. eating like we kings and I still shop royalty. my meats. I shop all my meats at games. If y'all know <laughs> games. what games is, Man. the Red House. And, get in. And, and 757, y'all know what games is. I still get all my you know, chicken wings. I still, bro, steak, bro, uh, I still barbecue, shop. I that. still shop at the easy. I don't shop at Walmart. I shop at the Easy Mart. That's the corner store, ain't it? No, the motherfucker that's by Aqueduct <laughs> down. It's all like the corner store. Said, nah, that motherfucker, that ain't it. That, that ain't it. It's the Oriental store by okay, okay, Aqueduct, okay. bro. Okay, we okay, shopping okay, at okay. Okay. I don't get duck. by okay. the duck, bro. Okay, okay, like, okay. We shopping at all spots where it's like we gonna eat like we royalty. Face so. But we we ain't got that much. But yeah, we gonna eat like we royalty. So, so that's uh, why I don't care if it's fifty bucks, five hundred thousand, mm-hmm. five mil. We still gonna eat the same way. It, if you think about it, it's really gonna still be the same way. If you let's say we all woke up with a million tomorrow, we still gonna be doing the same thing we doing right now. We just gonna have more money in our pocket. You might have a no, bigger I'm studio. Be doing you might have a better thing. car, or something like that. I wouldn't be doing but, the same exact thing. I ain't gonna cap you. You said you wouldn't. No, I'll be doing a little extra. Look, hey, you got I, to, though. I mean, That's, I have a little extra. You got to. A little extra smoke on me. We're going to be drinking way more because I'm going to be happy as fuck. You celebrating. See it. Can you celebrate Yeah, what? Yeah, if if dollars was in pockets, we celebrating every day. We mm-hmm. <gasps> took a breath. I'm right, telling you. But just to get back to this subject on your music mm-hmm. and how you actually been grinding this whole thing out. Yes, sir. How... How is your process? Because you versatile. We done seen two different songs, two totally different vibes. Yes, sir. How is your writing process, your studio process? I was, so right now, just really go in there, listen to the beat. Whether I write some or I punch in, it's just whatever whatever I'm feeling at the time. It ain't no going in with a game. Even the, coming up with the song, like I might just start off with a harmony or something and come up with some words and stuff. But hey, I'm not going in with a... I'm gonna talk about this or whatever, this, this, and that. So I kind of just pick up mm-hmm. whatever I start off, and then I pick it back off of that and keep feeding off of that and see what, see how the turn, the, how the song turn off. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I still might like it because somebody else might like it. You know what I'm saying? I still might roll it out. You know what I'm saying? But so you do, so you would say you do your music not just for you, but for air. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. I do it for, for me. I, it's a hobby, too. You know what I'm saying? I get off work, go home, and it's kind of like a hobby, but I know it can come with some, some, some good, you know what I'm saying, some good stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely. So it's kind of like a, it's easy to do because it's, I'm working on myself, mm-hmm. and then on top of that, I'm getting a release. I'm getting, I'm, that's why I'm yelling in the mic. I'm just in here yelling because I, I wanted to yell at that motherfucker at work and slap the shit out of them, but I can't do Man. that because that's I got to have, I got to, be, <laughs> I trouble, got to get my bread, be- but. When you know what I'm saying? So it'd be the therapy session, all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be my question, though. Like, how do you like decide what type of song you finna do? Because I know we yeah. had um, Kid Q here last time, mm-hmm. and he was saying like it all comes from like different phases in his life. So that's mm-hmm. how you decide. You know, if to do the side shit, if to do the yelling shit. Like, what about you? Like, how does that work? I can agree with that. Um, it's again for me right now the route that I'm taking is pretty much just filling. Um whatever beat turn on because it's not again we got a group of guys that's making beats and they sending them in the chat so we'll listen to a beat and all right let's just get on it let's make something you get what i'm saying because just like they believe and we believe in it everybody believing in each other right now you get what i'm saying like they keep dropping beats all right we're gonna keep making music whether Mm -hmm. it's a love song whether it's a talk some shit bullshit whatever and so it's not it's not no pacific route to it right now it's It's just just vibes and beats yeah so yeah. later on when I'm when I'm starting to do I have been talking about this um with the team whatever but uh like trying to be more directional with it so mm-hmm. like it's it's kind of like piggyback off what you were saying like finding the sound so when I drop a country it's gonna when I drop that country album it's gonna be straight country up there or when I drop the 
Like the last album, we got a mixture of like R and B and hip hop up there. Yeah, and don't stuff. give me Shabuzi, then give me Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? So that. right, so I'm, I am gonna try to basically keep it organized in no. a sense, but we're gonna keep oh. everything going. Though. We ain't gonna <laughs> yeah. stop. Not, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep doing what we're doing. So that would be ironically, be kind of tough. I, I was, I was, you know, I had to take a little break. Ed to usually do that, but anyways, Caribbean. I'm gonna blame that on you. That's that A. That Caribbean rum, shit. Rum. Hey, that, Shout that out shit to all is my Trinidadians out of this motherfucker. Yeah, that shit lit out of this bitch. That shit is crazy. But um, <laughs> that spike one coffee. of my questions is like, does music have an age limit? Um, No. I would say no. Come on, man. Luther Vandross, come on. He got bangers. When, well, no, when I'm saying that, like, yeah, two old let's, white say, let's say, let's say, okay, genre? so. Like yeah, I'm, I'm not take, gonna be 50 making a drill song. I'm taking it back. I'm taking you it back to your original. You seen the white boys that was doing the drill? Yeah. No, 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 no. My bad. My what bad. I'm doing is I'm taking it back to when you originally started, right? Okay. You had graduated 2013, yeah, yeah. whatever mm-hmm. like that. You was doing doing. You came in Virginia. Mm-hmm. Woo, woo. Now it's 2024. You yep. put out your first singles. You're putting out a bunch of singles. For sure. Is there an age limit? To the music content Like can you still talk about Or still live about things That you're recording So um, For me I can't speak for everybody else I'm kind of like I I pretty much do what I want to do When I want to do it As in like I'm not moving with disrespect I'm not coming to nobody hood Being like fuck your hood I'm not on that But if I go in the booth And I say Man fuck them niggas I just said what I said But I ain't talking to nobody I'm just in a saying what i'm saying so it's like a age wise i don't think there is a a age limit to music um mm-hmm. definitely everybody going to judge you for they going to judge you whether you are making good music bad music or it fits the age description music or whatever so yeah. i feel like man if that's what you want to do do it do be you be true to yourself because at the end of the day, bro, people going to talk about you regardless. Like, they going to talk about you regardless whether you're doing Thanks. the bullshit, the good shit, the wrong shit, the right shit. Yeah. So it's just like, when I wouldn't say it's an age limit. Do your thing, man. I don't, hey, look, hats off to you. Because, see, yeah, the reason why I said that is because last show we had 2300 CJ, and I'm going to keep mentioning him, and he was 24. Okay. And I asked him, I said, yo, when you get the millions and you get all these dollars, are you still going to be doing the shit because you said you love music. Are mm-hmm. you still going to be talking to you 24? Six years from now, you be 30. Mm-hmm. So you still going to be talking about that street shit in your uh, 30 with millions of dollars? I see what you're saying, but I wouldn't... My What I would say to you, I wouldn't recommend it because you see where it's getting people. You get what I'm saying? It's, okay. Even if you wasn't doing it, it's the fact you saying that they going to try to they gonna try to make it something that's not. Cause then if you go back to the hood like, and you you go make you go do a video like the the King Von situation, he he just went back giving his people money. They turned that into a whole. He would have been charged with some more shit on top of you. Get what I'm saying? So well, see, no, 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 you no. gotta change. I, I say I understand what he's saying and with that King Von situation. He the reason why he wouldn't have got caught up with mm-hmm. that is because the money he was just giving them mm-hmm. was. All right, you you promote my music and shit, right? Ten G's, but they wouldn't listen because they young. They wasn't listening uh, to him because they young. Cause they, they, they young. Yeah, they young as yeah. hell, and they younger than him, and he younger than Dirk, and uh, they all going from this. It's a chain of command you. type thing with them to the point where literally they they it's a whole different. Like I said, you on your side of downtown, mm-hmm. you go to the other side of downtown. Right. It's right, a right. whole different right, world right. type shit. What's, Even though it's cool to be there, it's a whole different world. Right. I, so so the reason why I said that is because right now with the number of podcast right now, like I'm 29. Ace Ace is I'm old, it. yeah. Ace is over, older than me. Um, Jer- Germany is probably a year younger than I am, and Tay is the youngest. Okay. The the bull the bull out of the group is the youngest. Okay. But at the same time, it's like yo, I think she understands, and I think everybody in this group that we understand our message and we understand what we're trying to get into life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But eventually, 
we gonna be ten years down the line, twenty years down the line. I feel like No Limit Podcast is gonna be bigger than it's the Breakfast Club. Definitely going. B- bigger Y'all than going the Breakfast sure. Club. Bigger Y'all than the Ebro going. in the morning. But we are gonna have that oh, moment we where we our, our conversations is gonna change. Like we passing Ebro. Why? Why I'm T sorry. gonna be like? You know, I'm just in my thirties. <laughs> like yo, it's a different type of crowd. Yeah. It's a different type of moment. We gonna be in our forties when we gonna be like. Yeah, y'all niggas is not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're gonna be on that that type of element. That's why I asked that question. Like, as artists, as we get older, as we learn more, as we understand ourselves as individuals, when is that stopping point? Where's that breaking point? Because mm-hmm. I would say, and this takes over on an entertainment world mm-hmm. and entertainment question. Like, we got Red Man that just dropped a song. We have Ice Cube that dropped a song to the point where people oh. thought he was gonna do Friday. The the next Friday or Friday after next, like right, we thought we was yeah. gonna get a fourth installment. Exhibit dropped the song. Exhibit dropped the numbers. song. Yes. It's just it's, it's like, just like yo, we got the old time, we got the old timers saving hip hop right now. Yeah. Oh, I got a question about we, that. We, My bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying we got them, we have them saving hip hop. We got yeah. them saving our culture. Like so. This, so what age does it stop? Yeah, because mm. yeah, what age does it stop? Because to have that. Like you said, all these OG artists coming out. I've heard the craziest bar from an OG. Yeah. Ice Cube literally just said I was Kendrick before Kendrick. Did you see Mace? Did you see did you see Mace on his own show? (laughs) Mace Mace on his own show just released the 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 fire he released something that I was so surprised. Bro, I'm just like, nigga, you went from artist to pastor to artist again. Well, I would say podcaster to news analyst to football. I mean, to uh, sport analyst to, to rapping A-O again. When he analyst. released it, bro, I'm just like, Mace is crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, it gave me that nostalgia. Like, we got a chance to survive as as mm-hmm. a culture. We have that chance to survive, bro. But. With these you, new niggas coming out, or 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 artists that are coming out, do we do we have a chance? Does hip hop, does hip hop have a chance to survive now, with the de- new niggas? It's, it's definitely it, it's a handful of them. It's a handful of that can make that timeless music. That's what's going. It's, it's a definitely a handful of artists out here that can make timeless music. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm one of them myself. Once I once I actually tapped into that because. Um, again, I'm, I'm making music for myself, whatever, whether I'm trying to catch a, you know what I'm saying, um, the people out, uh, get, you know what I'm saying, get the fan base built up. Like I got a funny a funny little twerk song that I'm about to drop here soon. Uh-huh. It's going to be a new challenge. So all you, you going to have the ladies dropping ass? You know what I'm saying? We got to do, we just, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, twerk song. Uh, okay, so, there, so, man, so, man. so you, and I'm not trying to put all your business out right now. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to put Talk to all me. your information, but... How do you deal with that? Like you got a lady, like you 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 a father just like it's I am. It's entertainment. I'm treating it as entertainment. Like uh, your your favorite actor, your favorite art. Denzel can get up here and, and do whatever he. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, in training day, Denzel was a gangster. You meet Denzel in, in real life, you know damn well that's a that's a stand up. No, 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 no. You can't use Denzel because no. Denzel Denzel had a little statement uh, where he had a we, bunch of art. He had he had a bunch of actors when he was just like. What we do is easy. We do an easy job because you know Denzel was a. If you look at one of those interviews that he yeah. did, I want you to look that. I want everybody to look that up. And he was talking about it when he was like, "Nigga, I used to be a garbage man. Yeah. I used to be a mailman." No, no, no. We, he he talk, and, he, and he, he said talk, he's saying though, as a full fledged like in training day, I, I get where you come you know what from saying? and whatnot because I understand where you coming from too because I I don't see him do training day and mm-hmm. I don't see him in fences right. Man on fire, different. Man on fire. This was Man, different. You know it, it two totally bangers, different. Both, yeah, of them. both of them bangers <laughs> and shit, like iconic, and it's like that's two totally different feels. For sure. To meeting him, I would have thought him personally mm-hmm. was more towards fences. Okay. Than training day. Gotcha. Well, he well, got he got he got a logic to spit to you. Mm-hmm. He's spitting some real shit to you right. a lot of the times. But it's just harsh fucking truth. But, so like you but might what not I'm like saying, it. What I'm saying is, as an artist though, as an artist, mm-hmm. do you feel like you can be in your 40s and still be given the knowledge? Can shout you still out be Jay-Z. teaching? No, yeah, for sure. Like um, you if, if, shout out who? Jay Z, ain't you like 40? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Ain't you like 40 something? Get the fuck out of here. I'm crack. Now, 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 see, age, free, now you though, on man. that dumb shit right now. Now it's supposed to be for that. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm too weak. 
Knowledge is supposed to be free though, man. They just teach us all the wrong knowledge in motherfucking school. The shit that ain't really beneficial to us. They teach us about some old shit that we ain't never heard good. about since fucking tenth grade and shit like that. But um, knowledge wise, but you can't never. I'm all for me. What I'm always gonna get now. Like I said, I got a lot of nieces and nephews and stuff. They and they looking up to me, so they watching the music and stuff that I'm putting out. And I tell them like certain songs, like it's it's entertainment. You get what I'm saying? We live in a entertainment world. Like we. We 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 live in a a, a world mm. right now to where is is this accessible and it's easier everybody so, can do it. So so, so with that with the knowledge and the message that you pushing, could you do a song with Sexy Red and mm -hmm. still have a message? Uh, that's that'd be strictly entertainment purposes. You know what I'm saying? Is we we and we getting a dollar. That's that's what it was. But I'm not <laughs> I'm not trying to say I'm like a <laughs> sell my soul type shit. Well, you yeah, say, yeah. you say, I put them pussy lips on that nigga's hey, lips, then I'm riding did. it. And I'm gonna him, yeah. That boy said, I'm gonna say what I say, and that's gonna be a song, and we gonna get our money, and we gonna part our way. There we go. That's all what right, it's that's gonna all be. I wanna know. That's hey, all hey, I wanna look, know. That's all I wanna know. She's talking about Kim. Hey, mama, call you. Yeah. Hey, we got an acting gig for you. This this the actor role, whatever. you gonna do your acting role, no get right, your man. money, and go about your business. you take that, what you mean? Would you, would, to 60. My no, bad. I'm not, no, I'm not, not listening, I'm to, not me. listening <laughs> to you. I'm, I told you, your, your conversation with me and you are done for tonight. I'm, I'm not listening to you no more. Because you said that, I, I'm sorry, bro. I just don't fuck with Jay-Z. But anyway. It's not that I don't fuck with him or fuck with him. I can't do it. Hey, man. I'm Eminem's 54. On, I don't man. give a fuck. He's, Eminem, hey, Eminem is way better than Jay-Z. I Shut say Eminem, Eminem, is, Eminem is way better than Jay-Z. Fuck with Ace is saying. I'm with that. I'm with it. Look, hey. I I don't I, still love I don't disagree album. with what he just said. I just threw Jay Z out there because he is the oldest no, out of all of him. the people that I could name. Fuck that and big shit. lip back. I'm sorry, bro. And it's not it's not that it's not that I don't hey, Jay Jay if you, Jay if you ever see this, it's not that I don't necessarily like it's you. It's the rum. It's, it's just the, no, it's not even a rum, bro. I, I just you. don't. I just don't. Even don't. An excuse. Jay, I don't see the message that you have ever gave to the culture. <sighs> You've gave one song. What that was? One song that I actually respect and I actually listen to, and I'm probably gonna listen kids to it, in it on my way to home. No, mm. when he said, "Uh, you talking about that OJ shit." OJ, yeah. Yeah. OJ. yeah, I know that's what I knew know. it. <laughs> that's the only OJ, song that I can listen to Jay Z. Where I'm just like, okay, you really spitting some shit. You really talking to the culture. But think about when that song released, and think about that that time frame it released. Yeah. Other than that, I, I'm sorry, Jay. Jay, don't Jay Z. As an artist, as a person, as an entity, as a business owner, he doesn't give me that accomplishment where I'm just like, hey, mm -hmm. I want to listen to him. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you was, I, you was asking him um, if he would, if he would collab with Sexy Red. That's what you was asking him. Yeah. If he would collab with Sexy Red, could he could he still put out his message? I want to uh, know why is Sexy what, Red always the example. My what, what you mean, because like she's, my, she's the ratchet of our generation. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. So it's just like out of your music that you're putting out right now. You mm -hmm. said you talking to the people. You talking. You know what I'm saying. You want to speak to the youth and all that. Yes. But if a song with Sexy Red came out and she was like, hey, yo, I want a T Row feature, could you take what she about to put out? Because you know it's oh, not yeah. going to be good. I did. I'm going to take it and run with it too. We're going to make something. Hey, look. That's the artist. We're going to make yeah. something out of this. Hey, look. It, 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 ain't, it ain't nothing. It ain't. I'm not. Whether it's uh, the image seem like it's a bad image or whatever. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm moving on to a business opportunity. That was a business opportunity. That's a business move. And again, and again. I, no limit podcast. We need some heavy hitters. So sexy. Yeah. Oh yeah. I would Come love. On to get, I would love. We to not get an talking interview. shit. Come on I through. seen I'm what you shit. know. I seen I just, what you did. To just I got a song. I mentioned her in there. Actually, we on love you. Like Come I would. I, I just personally would love to get bigger, big, heavy, heavy names mm -hmm. on here just to get. I want to pick their brain because I feel like interviewers nowadays. Which we, we talked about. In that one show, mm -hmm. interviewers don't really get to pick artists' brains. They like to pick up the bad shit. Like I would never yeah. ask Sexy Red about her having a sex tape and all yeah. that. I want to understand. Weird. I want to add. No, they but, do shit like that. They, they do. Like they that. do that. that shit to sell I'm just saying numbers, that's, that's I wouldn't, I wouldn't weird. do nothing like that. I just personally want to ask her why you do the way you do. Like who are you speaking to? Like what? What is the purpose? Like when you make that lip gloss. And it has gonorrhea and all that. Like, what was the purpose? Is I'm, it just? I'm gonna tell you what she gonna say to that. I honestly feel Sexy like Sexy Red gonna throw out a pull out a stack of money and be like, "This why 
That's no. exactly what she's gonna no, get. I feel, it's I, like, no, I feel like you gotta come, you gotta come, come with That's exactly what she's gonna do. Like artists like that, you ask them the purpose, but you kind of know the purpose. Oh God, yeah, no, because okay, so money, hold on, so so monetary, monetary value. Okay, I get that. But no, at the, but at the that, same bro. time, no nah, monetary value, understanding like the money. Mm-hmm. But like you got you got to understand like when she came out, bro. You had kindergarten teachers using her lyrics to kind of calm down her students. Yes, it worked and shit it like worked. that. It worked, but it, she used it in her own flow. But you got to understand like as an artist, you're a bigger influence than out of your lyrics. Yes, yeah. But yeah. You are at, the bigger, same, you're bigger. at the same time, you have to realize she's a person and she also has a family to feed. There you so go. So if she got people that's, that's riding behind mm-hmm. her for whatever fuck shit she doing, oh exactly. even if you you might you may see it as fuck shit. It got people who who living like that every. Day. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So her life and the life she living or the life she portraying, it got bitches that my fault. It got females that live like no, that every right day. And, and say, don't right? even forget, she, she came from somewhere, so yeah. that's probably what her she life. She don't gotta like live that, that yeah. life no more because she talked she, about it. Now yeah, she got no, all the goddamn yeah, bread. So, I think that's the issue too. People think that just because she doesn't live that life no more. That she's not obligated to talk about that. That's like, people yeah. for you. Though. That's people. That's that's that bullshit. Envy, yeah. hatred, shit. Like, bro, get yeah, out and then when she switch up, ego. let's say she switch up tomorrow. Y'all gonna say she fake? Come exactly. On. There you go. There <laughs> you go. <laughs> there, there you go. Y'all gonna exactly. say she fake? So. Exactly. That's why I said, do what you want to do. You want to do it? Lie, bro. I would love. I would love. Hey, nah, say what I, they see, now I'm not gonna do that. I would love to hear a sexy red feature with Taylor Swift. What? I mean, and she's still going to she do gonna it in a sexy red way, and that shit's still going to be fired. Dark side, exactly. You're going to hear Taylor, Taylor Swift say something. Like, I think that's the one thing sexy red. You know that she I She does said. one, she does oh, one, on, yeah. she do one okay. thing yeah, great. She, said, I don't she know make other you, motherfuckers. she ain't giving that pussy too. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> she going to make Taylor... That's sexy red is talent right there. People think it's her music Whoa, and shit. Sexy oh God, red talent. And she bring oh God. Hey, she I would love, out of you. I would love to hear it at the end of the day. But she bring that PR training that you went through mm-hmm. as an artist. I got that it, uh, PR training as an act. She bring that yeah. shit the fuck out of you. She said, give me the real I'm you. Wait. Just because we talking about sexy red, That's I what do we want to play. I know. I know I said sexy red name in that first verse. It's a it's a feature song, but I'm, I got the first verse and the first hook. We can, you know what I'm saying? Play that much. I know mm-hmm. you said you want to keep the, the feature short and stuff like that. Oh yeah, but I think it'd go perfect. Well, because we, we were just talking about sex. So, so 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 let's hit it. Let's hit it. Mm-hmm. Let's get the vibe. I just played this song yesterday for uh, a young boy. He was like, "Man, the beat is a lovey dovey beat." You yelling? I said, "Shit, that's what I did." I mean, mm-hmm. what you want me to do? Change my shit, goddamn. I, so you know, what, what song? What song was it then? I know on the uh, Panorama Reflections platform. If you a hey, Panorama Reflections on all platforms, if you ain't heard it, go get that. Shout out J Money, man. Right there on the uh, I know the third one. Shout out J Money, shout out Ricky Walker, shout out all them guys. Man. Shout out Sexy Red too. Hey Money, hey I love you, Ricky. You my everything. <laughs> And then it's lean to feeling lazy. Yeah, I think I lost my mom going crazy. I think she really gone. Damn, I thought about my baby.
I got you, baby, that's how I go. You got my heart, come back and forth like on a tight road. She's like a cat, she got the nine like Romo. Cargo, boots, ride, rodeo. I wear these browns every day, Antonio. If I'm in the picture, handsome portfolio. Cuffin' ass bitch, she a police hoe. Where you at now? My bag is on the ground. People trying to save me down. Sending like some mail out what I receive you. Dislikes are we try to press me, I'ma leave you. This a preview. Girl, I know. Girl, I know. Girl, I know. Girl, I know. All you had to do is tell me all your problems and all your worries. If you need me, let the pedal to the metal, I'm coming full speed. You ain't never got to worry. I'm the man of your dreams, that's what you told me. As long as you hold it down, you get my everything, you my everything. Play that back, play that back. I like that one little, that 30 seconds. And I don't know what what it was. Like, I don't know if it was like the Caribbean song. I don't know if it was like the references. I listened to the song just now, bro. And like, I, obviously the, cl- the camera wasn't on me, bro. Like, nigga, my eyes were burning like, like to the hell. Man. My my eyes were burning to hell. I don't know if it was, was the that? incense or anything, but it was like the vibes. I don't know. Maybe it was God speaking to me just now. I was just like, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Like I can't even see. Like I was looking at the screen. And I was like, oh fuck. I'm blind. But at the end of the day, you know, we we coming to the end of the episode. So what I want to do is rapid fire. Ask you. Talk to me. Um. Where where can they find you? Where's the merch? Mm-hmm. Um, where like is it new shows that we can come up to? Right now, because we we, we in Halloween season. Like yeah. we're we're in Spooky. the we're in the fourth we're, quarter, we're, guys. Yeah, we're in the fourth quarter. We're in that Spooky American season. holiday season type thing. So like, what's up? Shit, right now, yay! Find me on Instagram, T R O four 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 all platforms: YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Threads. Um. You name it, I got it. I'm running. I'm running so many mm. social media accounts right now. But um, yeah, YouTube, man. I'm. We're gonna keep this content going. We're gonna keep it pushing. We're gonna keep trying to elevate. Keep trying to perfect our craft, man. And I feel like uh, we're saying perfect. It's not. Not nothing's gonna be perfect. We gonna just keep working and um, you know, keep going. But all platforms, T Row, man. T it's at T Row, T Row. But yeah. That's T dash row for all y'all that don't yeah, know how to T- put it. Like, like, just so, like so. Ab, just like Ab Soul got the dash. Don't forget the dash. Come on, man. T do not, dash do row. not forget the dash. Like do so, not. when you when you look up his name, it is it is T dash row. Well, I mean dash. I mean mm-hmm. what's the name for it? It's a, yeah. It's, it's a, a little. It's, it's a, yeah. It ain't I don't the know. under. It ain't the underscore. It's the one that you do before that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That there you going, go. That going and, on. And he would pop up, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got any shows that's popping up anytime soon? Um, we just did a little um uh, mic performance with the We We Fam ATL in Atlanta. I'm getting ready to go back to Atlanta next weekend. Um doing a I got another interview down there that I'm about to get ready to do with OG. So uh, say, say, we'll say word podcast. If you want a performance um, spot, got, I, got I know a, a DJ out there, man. Okay, yeah, I'm doing a show Saturday down. There oh too. yeah, he set me up. He set me up with uh with all that. He got all that. You know what I'm saying? Cooked up for me. So we we making moves. I I'm not trying to be cocky, but hey, man. Talk I don't to care him. where you go. Huh? We the best of the best of the best, yeah, the best nigga. So, we locked hey, in yo. everywhere. So if you come here, I'ma let you know. 
You're going to get locked in mm -hmm. to everywhere. Okay. There's people in Florida we know. There's people in New York we'll, we know. We'll There's people in Cali we know. We know the whole 50 states okay. at this point. Exactly. Okay. We getting there. So with that being said, this episode, I will say, um, this is going to wrap up our, our October, our, our, our scare fest. It's gonna wrap up everything that we've been going through, like you know what I'm saying. And did we miss some some names? Yeah, we did. But at the end of the day, the ones that came through came through, and the ones Shout that are solidified everybody. solidified themselves. So you Dang. will be seeing his face a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. T Row, you'll be seeing him For sure. content. He has it on his page, not even on the No Limit page. He has his own content. That's just keep going, keep going, keep going. going. Keep going. So with that being said, I hope y'all can be able to keep up. Uh, this episode, like I said, man, this is on a vibe. Okay. This has been Appreciate a vibe. Appreciate y'all having me, man, for sure. It's been good. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Good energy in here, man. Shout out No Limit, man. Exactly. Hey. No Limit, good, good energy, good vibes, good setting, all that, man. And he got that good rum. And he got it. Got that yes. Good. Tell him. Yes, I. Tell. DJ, DJ YT. So you, you play that, uh, that, 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 that roll with me on the uh, rollout. That be the, that be the outro song. And that is smooth. It ain't it. no craziness. Oh. Exactly. You want an yeah. outro song? Yeah, I get the outro. outro song. Yes, that's uh, the perfect. So what's so hey, hey, your outro song? What are you asking for? It. First song I ever put out. That was the first everything. First that's how I'm saying this where it started out. Roll with me. Shout out my old lady. I was in my feelings that day. So you gotta go to singles EP. Hmm. <laughs> Where's that? Um, there it is. Yeah. No, no, no. That's Keep not going. it. Hit uh, show all. Go back up. Right down the right. Show all. Yeah, buddy. Man, bitch, it's the first one, so it's gonna be the last. Y'all, there it go. There it is. Bow. Right here. So we're gonna end the show with that mm -hmm. right here. Roll with me. Got a collab with us. I ain't gonna lie to you. My eyes is burning. Come and roll with me. Smoke and drink and go get low with me. Roll with me, smoke and drink and go get low with me. They roll with me, smoke and drink and go get low with me. Won't you roll with me, smoke and drink and go get low with me. Let me tell you about my girl, that's my baby, that's my boo. She my queen, she my everything, my precious little ooh. From the moment that I met her, I knew. She light up my life brighter than the sun do. Yeah. One of a kind, body better than bad, shape finer than wine. Kisses got me tipsy, her touch is divine. And she the heartbeat in my chest, and I feel the beat in my rhyme. Come and roll with me, smoke and drink and go get low with me. Listen, roll with me, smoke and drink and go get low with me. Then roll with me, smoke and drink and go get low with me. Don't make no babies. Yo, so like I was saying in the in the interview, bro, man, this has been the best of the best of the best. We bring the we bring top hitters every week. We'll see y'all in November. You know what I'm saying? In so November. Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We coming Thanksgiving. We we giving and everything like that. We giving heavy hitters. Yo, but y'all gonna see it. Y'all gonna see the vibes. Y'all gonna see everything we got given. This has been a fantastic episode. And until next time. Peace. Uh, this nigga walked through the whole camera. I, I hate you. I, I hate you so much. Love you too. <laughs>